Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Analyzing the Markets. Today is Sunday, April, sorry, May 9th, um, already. So we're going to start looking at some of the pairs real quick and what we're looking for this week, pretty much. Um, so the strategy that I've been following for the last couple of weeks has been um, a 30-minute strategy. Uh, recommend from from Uncle P. I'm using Simplicity System with all the, the indicators. It's actually a combination of Simplicity and also Too Easy Indicator. The Too Easy Indicator comes with the, this uh, dashboard right here that tells you at 15 or different time frames and diff how many bars are going on. So it's a very, very good indicator. I'm looking at very positive results. Uh, the last two weeks has been like very strong news also, but it's it's been doing a positive result sore. So we're gonna look at um, different pairs today. And also, before I go to that, um, I promised one of the subscribers that I was gonna teach him how to install the momentum indicator right there. Normally, um, I guess, I'm assuming you know where it is. Normally you go here in MetaTrader, you insert and you look for the momentum. Where is that momentum? Momentum, momentum indicator right there. But let me look at the one we already have in momentum right there. You go to edit and obviously you have this right there parameters and we're using a period of 10 apply to the close and which is this is a momentum right there and then to put that hundred level you go to levels right there and then you can click on it and you can just backspace and it'll get rid of it and you can type it just 100 and just put OK, and, it, and it'll show the 100, and the 100 line right here for the momentum. Okay, so that's that's how that's how you add different levels. You can even uh, add any 25, 50, whatever you want to add. But that's how you add to momentum indicator. All right, so you're gonna scan real quick to the pairs, and I gotta go 30 minutes real quick. Okay. Let's see what are the next pairs that we need to keep an eye. I'm still in this trade right there. I enter here, it went against me, but I haven't touched my my stop loss. So we'll, we're gonna see what happened this week. We're gonna let it run. Use DCAT, 30 minutes. We have this uh, move down, okay? So this one looks, um, it, it could be one of the prospects. We'll see during the week. Let's look at the four hours and see the direction of the market on this. It's a strong, strong downtrend. Okay, but on this on this thirty minutes uh, strategy, you can do uh, actually even corrections or pullbacks. Just make sure you go for one to one or go for 30, 20, 30 pips, and that's it. Because you're going against a four hour. Just keep that in mind. If you're gonna do this thirty minute strategy make sure you look the four hour at least and see the, the the overall direction of the river rivers coming down and if you enter against the river yeah you can get a little bit of a pullback but just just don't get greedy go for 30 40 pips no more than that and get out until the river changes direction obviously okay so use decad as a possibility with a pullback to keep in mind eurocad Okay, Eurocad is already developing, so we don't we don't do that one. It's already running. Euro DP is already running. It's already in the cell zone. Let's look at the four hour. Okay, four hours coming down. This is a good possibility. So we're gonna put this one right next to. We're gonna put it in a priority right there. Euro UP. 
So we, now we got your UAP. What's possibility on the 30 minutes? We're going to wait during the week to get a, a signal and everything else. DP and CD. It, I'm already in a trade. Your CCAD. It looks like it, it can set up also. So we're going to leave it there. EuroCAD. It's already running. Your USD. It's already running, but it's already in the opposite side. On the cell zone, let's look at the four hour. And we're still going up, so I wouldn't touch that one yet. Okay, maybe in the middle of the week, we're going to check it again and see. Euro NCD. That's a continuation trade. We don't touch it on NCD. It's already in the middle of the ranges right there, so we don't touch it. GPCHF. Okay, that has developed already. Let's look at the four hour. Okay, so I don't like that one too much. You gotta be selective too. Now, one already developed. EuroCHF. I'm scanning real quick. Cat JPY. Okay, cat TPY. Let's look at the four hours on this one. Four hours going up. I don't I don't want to go against the trend to be honest. Cat JPY, CHF JPY. Already develop N C D CHF. Don't like it. N C D CAD. Already develop JP CAD. It's a continuation right in the middle of the range. No good for us right now. Okay, this one is USDJPY. It's already in the buy zone. But in the four hour, we're going up. This is not too bad of a trade right here. So I'm going to put it in my watch list right here. I normally put my watch list in the first, first pairs pretty much. So on the 30 minutes, it's in my watch list for this week. Okay. I think where we're, I forget where we're. NCD CAD. No, no. GP CAD. Already developing. No, I don't like it too much. Okay, this one is GBP odd. And in the four hour, we're going up. Kind of like it too. I'm going to look at the daily to be more clear. Pull, this is definitely a pullback. Kind of like this one. We are going to add it up. I'll see a Jeff. It's all right there. I'll see a Jeff is the next one. Just don't like that one too much. Way, way too much. Too choppy. USDCHF. Okay, I like the way this one behaves, smaller smaller candles and everything. Let's look at the 4-hour. And we can, this is uh, with the 4-hour. If it shows a, um, we might get a pullback, but we got to be very careful. So, GBPUSD, let me put this one there. GBPUSD, where is that? Oh, right there. GBPUSD. Let's develop already. How the four hour looks. We're supposed to be coming down. It's way too choppy. Don't like it. Your JPY. Look at the 30 minutes. Okay. Daily. I don't like this one too much. Okay, so that was our uh, Euro JPY out in CD. Okay, a little of the four hour on this one. We're going up. There'll be a pullback. Don't like it. NCD USD. Mm, 
There will be a pullback also. Don't like it. NCD USD GPJPY. Way too choppy. Your odd. Way too choppy. Odd JPY. I like this one. Four hours daily. Okay, I like to look for a reversal, yes, and this one. So we're gonna add this one too. So right at cat chf. Cat chf right there is the next one. Don't like it too much. And the last one we're gonna see and see DJPY. Okay, coming up, it's already in the sell zone. Four hours is up. So it will be a reversal. Don't like it too much. So the ones that I have on my radar, it will be your JP, GP, NCD, USD CAT, USD JPY, USD CHF. And did I say our JPY? Check. It is possibility. So if we get that 30 minute uh, anytime, if it's in the Zell zone, um, Remember, this one is a, where's the daily here? Where it's a, it's a clear uptrend in the four hour, uh, even in the one hour. But if we, if we get a reversal, we might get some, some benefits right there. So just be careful. We're going against the trend. And that's pretty much what we got to look when the signal comes. We got to double check our trend and all that. And make sure everything lines up. Make sure this momentum is with us and we go into the trade. Well, thank you, friends, for being in this short video with me. Just analyzing. We pretty much went through maybe 29 pairs real quick. And this is our list for the next few days. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five pairs. I think we are also six pairs. That's what we're going to keep an eye on the next a few days. Uh, and see you guys back on Wednesday to check all these pairs again to see how they're developing. If they give a signal already, if they're working out, or um, or if they're not, pretty much at that point. Well, thank you very much. If you're interested in any of, this, any of these indicators, there's a link below the video. Please click on it. Let me know that you purchase it, any of these indicators. So if you have any questions, I can happily... Um, help you god bless you all see you guys by the way happy mother's day if there's uh, mothers with us in this group happy mother's day today in america we celebrate mother's day uh, god bless you have a great day bye bye